overall, I think you're gonna be fine, though. So don't worry too much, unless you're on the harder difficulties, in which case, uh, be careful and use the, um, the D-pad to send your Perfect. allies up first. And use them as cannon fodder, because that's what they're for, especially this guy. Who's on the right, so press right on the D-pad to send him forward. Got it. There we go. I'm gonna be using that ability a lot, if I remember it. It is easy to forget that you can have that. Um, which they introduced in... Actually, I think they introduced it in the first game. They always make a point at the start of the game, each game, to say, Hey, you can do this. Never use it any time after that point. I won't let you down, Tally. Casually just walked past an Archon Visor. Not that I'm gonna use it. But still, just in case you guys wanted to, to pick that up, uh, hopefully I'll remember to actually go through and show you what it does. Because it's not it's not a name brand, apparently, like the Armax Arsenal stuff, which you slowly learn over time that certain things are... Certain brands are correlated with certain powers, like Ceres Council is related to your powers, if I remember correctly. Um, and Armax Arsenal, if I remember correctly again, is linked to... What are they linked to? I think they're linked to either weapon damage or melee damage. The I, Dreadnought's operations I, because I never went ahead. with those, it's hard to remember. Good. Let's get the I've always been a fan of powers. Of Aww, you the can go invisible! For a second, I thought so could I! Because I've been playing the multiplayer with an oh, infiltrator God, yeah. and immediately pressed hey, the wrong so button. We'll I can't go invisible. This was a terrible idea. It's fine. They're not too hard to notice as long as you are paying attention to the shiny shiny. That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. I really need to use that tactic of sending Caden up as my cannon fodder. That's a so if we get curious there, we place to... Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've blocked high-level processes. We need something basic. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance systems for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got the prime. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gap on the other side of the doors. I didn't have any time to get ready. What if I had mines I could put down? I mean, I don't have mines, but... You know, that's something that I really hope, I really hope that, um, Mass Effect Andromeda kind of exploits, that sometimes you're gonna get ambushed, and sometimes you can do the ambushing, which is always nice to finally have the upper hand, to finally say, hey, I'm gonna turn the tables on you, uh, I'm gonna set mines to blow up in your face instead of, you know, oh hey, buddy, wrong bumper, never mind, ooh, hey, there we go. I got a little bit of revenge. I think I took out two in one blast. And finally... Should have paid attention to me, not the drone. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere. Sorry for cutting you off, Tali. Um, and sorry to the viewers for cutting her off, because... I know, I know, I'm trying to make sure that you get all of the dialogue possible, but sometimes I accidentally hit a button, I accidentally cross a threshold where scripted dialogue comes along, or like there, I we at the I think that They're I'm picking up credits instead, I'm actually prompting dialogue. The ones that served the Seren were heretics. They left the Geth to worship the Reapers. This ship design is almost Quarian, but not quite. It's meant for synthetics, not organics. 
Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I appreciate what you're doing here, Trevor. Well, I care deeply about the Quarian people. <laughs> it's good to be back on the Normandy. Let me know if it's too quiet for you to sleep, and I'll find you someplace louder. Wow. If you like, I can give you two some privacy. To be fair, if I could have chosen just Tali to come along with me, I might have done that. But no, no. Okay, we needed a third. We really needed a third. Hell, if I could if I could actually get away with it, I'd bring the entire team with me on every mission. Although that would leave the Normandy quite exposed to an attack and we wouldn't want that like we had in Mass Effect 2. That was that was a dark moment in the in the SR2's history. Survivors? They got to escape pods, and they've got Admiral Ron trying to establish a secure link. Put her through. Shepard, this is Ron. The heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. You say shortly. It's gonna be at least five to ten minutes because... Hopefully there's a dramatic reveal here, but we've got to go through, uh, this. Nice! I actually like that dramatic reveal. Yeah, we've got to go through this thing, which is sending out those, uh... I wouldn't call them EMP waves, but they act kind of like EMP waves. They tear your shields to shreds! And it's really Watch rather annoying, wave. so you got to stay That's behind cover gun. the entire way up. Damn it, wrong one. Hold on, let me recharge. The good thing about having just a pistol allows that recharge time to go way down. Oh, it's so beautiful. I see you, Mr. Oh, I didn't see you. Admittedly, I was I was talking about your buddy. That guy could have totally walked right behind me and stuck a knife in my back and I'd be dead. Um, when you can, it's great to look out for these little alcoves because you can stand around walking as you please. Damn, I just missed him. Uh, stand around walking as you please, and you don't have to worry about those uh, electronic waves. I really need to think of a better name to call them. Give me a second, and you're dead. Both of you are dead. Even better. So you don't need to worry about laying down in cover, or your shield's getting kind of ripped up. And if we time this correctly, we can just dart across. It is easy to miss those alcoves, though. I will say that. I've done it many times. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. Ah, oh, Shepard. Did you really have to say that? <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. As if that wasn't predictable. It's basically like announcing you've got a week till retirement. We're safe in here as long as the thing doesn't turn back on. The thing's gonna turn back on. It's kind of fate. Close one. Watch your shield. Stick to cover. And as you can see, there's an alcove straight over there. Ah. Well, at least I demonstrated what. I see you. I see you. At least I've demonstrated what those uh, electronic waves kind of do to your shields. It will bring you back down. It will bring you down to zero, and that's a bad thing if you're kind of stuck in the in the open with all of these geths around you. Um, although, now that I'm up here, hey buddy, I can take care of everybody everybody without a problem. Although, I will be out in the open if I go there. Uh, which direction was it coming from? From that side, I believe. No? From that side? I'm waiting. Waiting so I know which side to cover from. Or not. I feel like it's coming from this way, which means we actually have a good amount of cover, uh, which makes sense. Otherwise, we'd be caught in the open every time we try to try to hide from the Geth as we approached. Uh, hang on, I feel like I'm missing. Damn it! Well, it's a little late. All right, Tully, I feel like you're not utilizing your sabotage ability to the best of your abilities. Damn it, I hate when I use two words in the same sentence. Two of the same word in the same sentence. You're not using your sabotage power to the best of your abilities. There we go. Now we've got an ally and I can just... I was gonna say pull out some popcorn, but I don't know where he'd keep it. Uh, 
pull out a refreshment or uh, an energy bar from from some secret compartments and just watch the mayhem ensue. And down to one guy. Oh no, two, three. Now, well, now it's down to two after I took care of number three. Uh, let's see if I can get him using my. Yes, perfect. And finally, let's approach steadily. You know what? Run for it! Run for your lives! Oh, wait! I could swear there was a guy here! Did one of you snipe him? I'm impressed, but at the same time, that was my kill. Okay, I shouldn't be so greeted with kills. You guys should get the glory as well. After all, everybody everybody talks about Commander Shepard. Nobody goes around talking about the legend that is uh, Kaden Alenko. Sadly for him. Hey! Just because I got my back to the door, to the door doesn't mean you can close it. Um, and sometimes there are upgrades in these little nooks and crannies. In these little corridors, I should call them. Nope, not this time. And always check each of the consoles because at the same time you can always get um, more intel or um, more credits. Which is, I guess, information that you pass on to the Shadow Broker. Shepard! What are you doing so close to the edge of an, of an elevator which has no railings? I know you like to live dangerously, sir, but sometimes sometimes dangerously can also be confused with stupidly. And that, sir, uh, was stupid. Alright, hold on. Wait, wait. You were worried? You bet I was. You dying because the get overrode my hat? <laughs> yeah, you were worried. She was worried. The drive course shouldn't be far. I don't know why you're pl trying to play that nonchalantly. I, if I was in a romance and and my partner was okay, I am in a romance. If my partner was um about to die and I saved them and they were somehow surprised that I was worried, I would just respond with, "Of course I was freaking worried. You were about to die, damn it!" And it was almost uh, her fault. No, I'm not saying anything, but that was almost your fault. I'm not gonna rub it in. I promise I won't That's definitely Reaper tech, but what's Legion. Shepard Commander, help us. Legion? Do you know this thing? Yes. It helped me fight the Collectors. It's on our side. But weren't all the Geth reprogrammed? Apparently not, after he did just say help us. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Are you sure we can't just the room you said? Yeah. Are you sure we can't just shoot some of this stuff? Simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack. I mean, I have C4. Removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No. You successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. So the Geth only signed on with the Reapers to save themselves. Pretty much. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. 
understand that. I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there. Why did they not think of trying to negotiate first? I mean, if you negotiate and negotiations fail, you can go straight into an attack. But if you go into an attack, you can't just go into negotiations right afterwards. That's not how it works. Unless, I guess, you're negotiating for surrender, but still, that's that's not in the spirit of things. You need to negotiate first. I mean, if it fails, then sure. Attack all you want. Not really. Negotiations failed, just walk away. Be the bigger man, or be the bigger sentient being, and walk away. <sighs> Got it. Talizora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Fiber blocks offline. We are free. I'm pretty sure I could have just shot those. Kila. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Geth reinforcements incoming! Oh, hello! It's a Geth Prime! Geth it's basically a Geth Juggernaut from the previous games, if I remember correctly. Um, okay, what's the best way to attack you? Let's go with... Flare? Not Flare, sorry, Overload. And then... If you're still alive... Which you're not! You're... Damn, your overload is powerful. Okay, you know what? I was gonna use sabotage on him because he's be he'd be pretty good as an ally with that rocket launcher, and hopefully he'd do a decent amount of damage against the Geth Prime. Or are these Geth? I'll need to check if they're ge still Geth Prime in the single player. All right, you you are on our side. Fight your buddies and uh, kill all of them. Yeah, it's still a Geth Prime. Okay, um. Either wait for his overload to recharge, or just start attacking it. There we go. No! Hey! What are you doing? Attack! Okay, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Shepard, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to get yourself killed. And let's throw a couple of grenades in there for good measure. Watch out for the combat drone! True, good point. Although, the annoying thing about the combat drone is it can still spawn them over and over again, which is extraordinarily frustrating. Especially in multiplayer. Hold on, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. And he's down. The problem with sabotaging those guys is... No! Geralt! Don't you dare! Oh, I'm out of ammo. Damn. Ah, I hate being in this situation. I just have to use my powers. Hey, buddy. And grenades in your face. That went poorly. That went very poorly. Oh! Actually, no, it didn't. It's a good thing I have three grenades to throw. Um, how do we get out of here? We need to go downstairs so we can talk to Legion. I don't remember what I was talking about. It clearly doesn't matter now, considering we're about to die. 